Obviously, you became a Muslim. You used to be an atheist. Yeah. How did that whole like change happen? Well, first, you first from atheism, the first thing you have to do is accept that God is real. So I, I got there by seeing and being exposed to all the evil and degeneracy in the world. There's an equal and opposite force, Newton's third law. Yeah. For everything, there's an equal and opposite reaction. The equal and opposite reaction to pure satany and debauchery and disgusting degeneracy has to be God, which yeah. proves that God must exist. I guess I naturally reverted to Christianity because I was raised as a Christian when I was a child and I was living in a Christian country, but I always had a very healthy respect for Islam. Even for many years, I was talking about yeah. how much I respect Islam. And then over time, you, you understand that for you to truly worship and believe in a religion, you have to respect the religion. And I had more respect for Islam than I ever had for Christianity. And that's yeah. where you ended up believing, becoming a Muslim. Now, now I'm certainly not an Islamic scholar by any regard. I don't want to be, you know, since I've, since I've reverted, a lot of people ask me very detailed questions. I'm on a journey like everybody else. I'm new yeah. to this like everybody else. I'm not, I'm not here to quote the Quran. I don't understand a lot of it yet. I'm just studying yeah. like everybody else is. But I have a very healthy respect for the belief system, and that's why I understood it's the place for me to be. But how did you learn? Like, did someone teach you? Did you have Islamic friends? Or, you know, I'm curious. Yes, I've always had Islamic friends. So I grew up in the Islamic, the Great Republic of, uh, sorry, the Islamic Republic of Great Britistan. So I understand that. <laughs> what? Yeah. You never heard of it? Uh, no, I've no? never. The Great Republic of the Islamic uh, Republic of Great Br Britistan. Britistan. Yeah. yeah. Never London, heard of that one. Londonistan is its capital. Yeah. So uh, I grew up in an Islamic country, uh, effectively. Everybody I knew was Muslim. And uh, England is an Islamic country now, de facto. It's, it's, it, yeah. it's, it's completely Islamic. So I grew up with a bunch of uh, very close Muslim friends, and I've always been not envious. Uh, but certainly I've had um, a large amount of adoration for their respect for their families, respect for their culture, their brotherhood, the way they operate. I've always thought it's the fantastic way to be. Yeah. And it's been a very long, ongoing conversation. I've been exposed to the religion and people who were Muslim for a very long time, my entire life. Now, since you've become a Muslim, have you stopped drinking alcohol? Yes. I might drink a little bit now and again, I don't, I, but I don't, think I, I don't think I'll ever drink again. A lot of people nowadays, and this is something that kind of saddens me, but you, it's one of those things you can't just say, here's the wrong one. But I feel like a lot of people nowadays are becoming Muslim for publicity. Who, who would you say a lot of people? And, and I've just generally, like, it's, it's one of those things where you get a feeling. And not, in your case, not really, because like whatever people saw it, but not really. But like you see a lot of people, like the first thing they do, like but the I, second they're trying to convert is like a whole like vlog yeah, process I mean, I, yeah. and like videos. And yeah. the, the thing I hate about it is because I, let's say you, when you became Muslim, you were talking good about Islam previously. Yes. And I see people that do it in like a very comedic way and they still don't respect it after they become Muslim. Yeah. So I, I know, and, I, and that's terrible. I don't know who you're, I don't, I can't think of anybody who's specifically yeah. done that, but if that's happening, then yeah, it's absolutely disrespectful, but God knows the truth of our hearts, right? Yeah. yeah. So I know that my, my reversion is sincere. I understand that because I'm in the public eye, there's going to be some degree of people who question it, but I know that mine's completely sincere and the people who do it in a non-sincere way, God knows the truth and uh, they're yeah. not going to be able to fool him. So good luck.